everywhere. Jackson, Mississippi to here in Memphis, Tennessee, where the current temperature is sitting right around 15 degrees. It's starting to sleet. So that may be like, okay, what's that mean for our snowfall totals? Don't worry, we've got a lot of snow on the way. This is gonna be significant and may end up in our top five largest snowstorms in recorded history for the city. And that's just the first round. There will be another round of wintry weather by midweek. A lot to get to, a lot to cover, and a lot of real estate, not just here in the Southern Plains and parts of uh, the South, we're talking the Ohio River Valley, the Northeast, and also the Pacific Northwest. Historic snows for, again, Seattle. Ice storm major in Portland, Oregon, and even into Idaho, Salt Lake City. Some big snows coming for you as well. A lot to cover. And again, we're doing our best here at the Weather Channel. we got teams all over the place trying to keep you up to date with the latest information on everything that's going on. Of course, even the severe weather that we had in Florida and in Las Vegas yesterday. So we've got a whole smorgasbord of weather to talk about, and it's really piled up. Let's get an update though. Before we get to our forecast here in Memphis, I want to show you what's going on in Dallas. The first time a wind chill warning has ever been issued by the National Weather Service in Fort Worth. Meteorologist Jim Cantori there tonight with the latest update. Well, on our way here in Dallas, Texas, to a top five daily snowfall, the biggest over 11 inches. Well, we're not going to get there, but could we get into number two tonight? I don't know about that either but we could easily get to number five. All right, and that's gonna take about five to six inches of snow. Uh, again, it's the kind of snow that we're getting here. It's amazing. It's very light, it's pixie dust snow. <sighs> it blows around easy and you can just toss it in the air. It's, there's no weight to it whatsoever. There's hardly any water content to it. You look at the winter storm warnings that we got out here, several states completely in winter storm warnings right now. You have to go all the way back to 2011 to see that much real estate covered by winter storm warnings. And so this storm is far from over, but unfortunately, neither is the snow for Dallas. We look down the road at Wednesday with another potential snow event, one which will certainly put this place back on its heels once again. It's been a tough week already here in Dallas. It looks like next week will be just as tough. We may not get above freezing until Friday. Oof, winter has settled in in the Lone Star State. In downtown Dallas, I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori. All right, that's Dallas's forecast. We're monitoring so many locations. Let's talk about Memphis for a little bit. Um, we've already been below freezing now for a solid four and a half days since Wednesday. It's now Sunday night, Valentine's Day, and we aren't expected to get above freezing until the following weekend. I want to show you our forecast and what's to come. Not only is it going to be historic cold, which will probably be most memorable, uh, but we're also talking about a lot of snow. You can see on the radar snow starting to filter in. This is not the main batch though. We'll get to that. Take a look at your forecast. Yeah, you're reading those overnight lows right. Three degrees is what we're forecasting tomorrow night after all of the snow falls. We get a little bit of a break, break meaning no snow on Tuesday, but still brutally cold. And then high temperatures stay below freezing with another winter storm sleet and snow Wednesday, Thursday, again back into the single digits. And then by the weekend, 41 degrees. Oh, this is going to feel so warm, even though that's still about 15 degrees below what you would expect here for the middle part of February. So a lot of snow on the way. Overnight tonight, snow really starts to pick up by the sunrise hour. Breakfast to lunch is really going to be the key window. And at that time, there is the potential of seeing snowfall at one to three inches per hour. Hour. That's a lot and is going to do a lot here. But I can tell you, Mark, the Tennessee Department of Transportation and the city of Memphis has done a very good job so far. We haven't had a lot of major accidents and there hasn't been a lot of people on the road. So if we can keep it that way on Monday, we should fare fairly well. And at the airport, remember, this is the FedEx hub. They are working around the clock. It takes a whole fleet of de-icing equipment to keep that uh, cargo fleet uh, of jets uh, able and running even in the heart of this winter storm. Yeah, gosh, they've got their work cut out for them. And hopefully, hopefully it's not, uh, you know, a precursor for the Memphis area. What we saw around Oklahoma City, what we see right now in Jackson, what we're hearing about in Houston. So many cities just getting uh, slammed by this winter storm, especially on the roads. Now, much of Texas and Oklahoma still under alerts of some kind tonight. The governor of Texas issuing a disaster declaration tonight for every county. Uh, governor of Oklahoma issuing a weather emergency. 
Troopers in both states asking everyone to simply stay home and stay off the roads tonight. Uh, as you can see, the conditions are, are tough out there. Uh, snow covered roads earlier and now that it's nighttime, the visibility is that much lower and it is still snowing or in some cases uh, icing active ice uh, because of freezing rain all the way down to the Gulf Coast. This is an incredible, incredible setup. You can draw a line kind of like this and notice how much that includes. I mean, you can focus in on Atlanta or Montgomery. Yeah, you'll be on the rain side, but no Nashville, Jackson, maybe New Orleans, although you'll see mostly rain, but Lake Charles, Houston, Brownsville. These are all cities that are on the cold side of the path of this storm. Unbelievable. We're now starting to see some lightning strikes as well. I'll show you that in a bit. The Dallas area is still reporting light snow. You're going to get a big break. We'll see if you get a return to snow. You're definitely going to have the uh, visibility come up when it's not snowing. It's still cold, though. Those winds are picking up, gusting to 30 now. So if you do have any lingering issues on the roads, if you get stuck out there, you need to have blankets, extra layers, keep that car running at times uh, in order to stay safe. Now. Uh, there's the wide view of the snow that's still ongoing. We've got some of the snow showers in the Memphis area. Look at what's happening around Nashville. Snow and ice being reported in Nashville right now. A very difficult setup. And let me make sure the uh, lightning's turned on here. And then I'm going to zoom in for you because check this out. Thunder snow into central Texas, west of Huntsville. A couple of strikes right in here. Uh, that shows you just how, you know, in, invigorated that snowfall rate can get. It's separating out the charges, some nice height to the clouds there. And gosh, uh, thunder snow, thunder precipitation with that area of low pressure redeveloping through Texas and the Gulf of Mexico moisture coming into play as well. It has been a mess on the roads today. I want to show you a fiery accident that closed I-44 earlier today. This was the scene. Look at that. Crews arriving spraying out the fire with the you know the fire hose but it was below freezing so then you have ice on the road from the the water they were uh, spraying uh, granted you got to get the fire out that's the least of your concerns that you might make some more ice uh, they're still out there right now trying to get that mess cleaned up and we've seen views of difficult roads uh, throughout Oklahoma tonight our own storm tracker Charles Peak is back on the highway and gosh it's looking a lot better here compared to where he was. So obviously a plow has come through. We've got at least much of this lane clear, although the lane next to him does not look clear. So some Yahoo could come through thinking it's going to be fine and, you know, go 70 or 80 past somebody, spin out and cause an accident. That's what you really have to watch out for. All the people around you that aren't respecting the storm the same way that you are. And then you've got the cold air component. Let's take an update now in Oklahoma City where meteorologist Reynolds Wolf is standing by in that cold air. That's right, I'm coming to you from Oklahoma City, home to roughly 600,000 people here in the city. But when it comes to the metro area, population goes up to over 1.5 million and also home to some very, very cold air and treacherous wind at times. How much snow are we going to get from this? Well, by the time the, the final scorecard is given, anywhere from 5 to 10 can be expected. But the key thing is, with the wind, which goes all the way through downtown, we're going to see some drifts that could be higher. So it could be kind of, kind of tricky. Some spots look like you may have an inch, but other places possibly several feet. But one thing that is going to be an issue, roadways. We have some video from earlier that shows well from high above the issues you had down below and along ports of 44. These parts motionless in both locations. Traffic at a standstill. Semi truck uh, had some issues. You certainly had a blood burst into flames and with it people were slow and go. No movement at all. In fact, law enforcement had people diverted going in the opposite direction to get off the interstate and try to clear it the best they possibly could. All hands on.